Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today we are back with another episode of Blueprint Review, this is episode 117. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Slasher Blueprint for the Tech 9 SMG, which is Blueprint number 2 out of the Scream Operator Bundle. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support on the last video. We are almost probably, I don't even know what views we are at right now because I haven't checked in a couple hours. But we might be even close to like 50 views in not even 24 hours, which is insane. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. The support on that video was insane. And I again, I just can't thank you guys enough. Really, really, really was happy to see how well that video did. But anyway, here's the second blueprint. It looks pretty darn cool. It looks very, very similar to the other blueprint. Hopefully we can do well. We're going to be inspecting all of the Halloween blueprints on the Nuketown Halloween map, of course. And I actually will have a gameplay later today for you guys on the new Nuketown Halloween map. So anyways, hopefully we can update the gameplay and do well with this blueprint. I'll see you guys all there. All right, guys, and welcome into the gameplay. We're playing some Domination here on the map Moscow. And man, the, the skin, or the Scream skin looks so cool. Ghost face, ghost face skin, whatever you want to say. But yes, by the way, uh, in my video from yesterday, I didn't. I said that they don't have voice lines. They actually do. So I think it's just a private match thing. So I'll go ahead and go through just two of his voice lines right here for you guys. Hello, what's your name? Enemy has B. Am I supposed to thank you? Securing Alpha. Is there an enemy over here? There is. What are you doing, my friend? Well, anyways, hopefully we can do well. I think he does have another hello. Hello, what's your name? No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, anyways, he does have voice lines. Which I didn't realize or I didn't wasn't able to see in the private match. But he does have voice lines, which is pretty darn cool. And I wonder if they use the actual voice line from... Or the actual voice actor from the, move, the new movie that's coming out. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Again, I, I did mention that in the last uh, video that I haven't seen the Scream movie... Mostly because it was a 1999 movie and I wasn't allowed to watch R-rated movies before I was born. <laughs> so, Bravo. I might watch it. I don't know. There's a theory that if you watch a scary movie by yourself, you're a crazy person. So, maybe I'll ask. Ask, a friend, ask one of my friends to watch it with me or... Ask my girl if she wants to watch it with me. Because Halloween is... Because Halloween is coming up. Very, very soon. One, one, oh, 11 days from this video. What the? That was an enemy. That was an enemy. I got no... I got... Or I got resistance. That's how I knew that that was not a dead body. And this blueprint is actually going in. It's so good. Losing Bravo. I thought that the single fire tech nine was hot trash, but it's actually legitimately pretty darn good. Oh no. Oh my gosh, 10 gun streak already. Are you freaking serious? Okay, we are going in. We are going in. 16 and 2. That is a crazy score. And then, of course, we get shot in the back. <laughs> no surprise there. Let's go ahead and call this in. And we're going to get on and call this in. And there's one. I'm going to try and get this guy as fast as I can. There we go. Beautiful. And it's not a scare package. It's just a regular care package. So I actually figured out what a scare package is. It's just a random care package that you that you get. Call that in right there. They're still capping it? I'll help you out, teammate. No, I won't. Never mind. Sorry, teammate. Oh, they just, just... Oh. Okay, please don't waste this. What the? I'm getting hit markers galore with this thing. All right, nice. Nobody there. All right, let's go. 
ahead and head over to my left. Nice try. We are going in right now. And I like this class, man. I think I'm going to actually make a Tech 9 class with the single fire mod on it instead of the automatic mod. Because I'll also feel better about using that in general because it's not what annoys people. Nice. That's, that's another seven gun streak. We have another care package already. Jeez, man. We are tearing up this lobby right now, man. Watch out. And with the screen skin all at the same time. Ooh, almost another 10 gun streak. And there we go. 34 and 4. First round. That was crazy, if I do say so myself. But yeah, I mean, the skin does look really awesome. I'm not going to lie. Like, I actually remember back in like fifth grade or third grade, whatever. I mean, like, I guess throughout elementary school there would always be one guy every year who would dress up as ghostface from scream like every year for halloween and i don't know what the heck a seven year old is doing dressing up as scream but you know, each their own oh we have a scare package nice well i'm not gonna call my cruise missile yet and you guys as you can see the helicopter is a little bit Aesthetically different, and we have ourselves a nice Halloween-themed care package. That's cool. I do kind of wish, though, that they... Um... What the... What is this guy... Why is there a guy back here? Ooh. Wow, we're on a 13 kill streak. Okay. I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know why they started spawning at A when I'm in when I'm at A, but no crap happens. And it's all good. All right. Well, this is going well so far, man. This is going really well so far. This See, this is why I don't play 24-7 playlists. When I do, I, ha I have no fun. But once you get out of those 24-7 playlists, the game just becomes so much easier. I think that's one of the problems with Black Ops Cold War and why everyone hates it. Because they go into the 24-7 playlists and they're like, this game is terrible. The SBMM is insane. Which the SBMM is still insane in regular modes. I'm not going to lie. But all of the sweats, all of the tryhards... Go into Nuketown 24-7. They go into Nuke Jack 24-7. They go into all of the 24-7 playlists because they want fast XP. And in order to get fast XP, you have to do well in Call of Duty. And if you do well in Call of Duty, you have to use the sweaty weapons. But once you move over into, like, regular Domination, regular TDM, regular uh, Kill Confirmed, the game is a lot less sweaty. And if any of you guys listening to my voice right now still play this game, I know there's only a month left of its life cycle. But if you play Black Ops Cold War still and you're just like so fed up with sweat play the non 24 7 playlist i'm telling you it makes a world of difference i'm not even joking like we're, i'm bringing back my black ops 4 commentary style where i'm literally having a full-fledged conversation with you guys while i'm playing which i mean it is natural to me because i've been you know i've been playing call of duty for 10 years but Earlier in the year, I couldn't do that, and now I can, which is awesome. But, I mean, it, it, it's not just the SBMM. I mean, I've gotten used to the game itself, gotten used to the weapons, maps, etc. But, yeah, again, if you're fed up with this game, with Call of Duty, and you find yourself jumping and playing Black Ops Cold War on Nuketown 24-7 most of the time, play something else, man. 
I was actually playing on Nuketown Halloween 24-7 yesterday, and I was having a difficult time until I pulled out a cheese class, which... <laughs> when I do have my video later today on Nuketown 20 or Nuketown Halloween, I will be using my cheese, my cheese Nuketown setup. But yeah, I mean, I just have so much more fun with this game. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Don't want to challenge that guy. That guy is in a little bit of a dicey spot. Who's he going to come up? He is. Yes, this class is, this class is good, man. This class is really good. Let's go ahead and call in this final care package. So yeah, again, that's that's just try it. Just try it. If you guys are playing this game and you aren't having fun and you're playing a lot of 24-7 playlists, play something else. Jump into... Jump into regular modes and I promise you guys will have so much more fun. And if you don't, well then, I, I apologize. But that's how I've been able to play this game all year. Is because I've been playing non 24 7 playlists most of the year. Highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. Also, don't play free for all or TDM. Free for all and TDM are trash in this game. Especially free for all. Free for all is always one of the sweatiest modes in COD. Well, anyway, guys, 58 and 8 gameplay there with the brand new Tech 9 Slasher Blueprint. That was a fun gameplay, and I actually really, really like this class. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you got, and I will see you guys all in two seconds to go ahead and review the blueprint after the play of the game. All right, guys, so welcome into the lobby. We're taking a look at the Slasher Blueprint for the Tech 9 SMG. Starting off here with the first hatch, we have ourselves the Infantry Compensator for the muzzle. Then we have ourselves the 8.1 inch Task Force Barrel. The Tiger Team Spotlight, the Stanag 39 Round Drum or Mag. Then we have ourselves the Raider Stock. So now that is all out of the way, we can go ahead and jump to the Aesthetic, the Practicality, and the Word. So starting off here with the Aesthetic, this is going to get the same score as the last blueprint with a 7 out of 10 because it's pretty much identical. It's just a little bit of a lighter gray color than the Grav Blueprint, So, but it still is the same Aesthetic, uh, so it's going to be getting a 7 out of 10 for me. Next for the class, what am I going to be giving this class? Well, in all reality, this class is surprisingly good. Like, it's surprisingly good. Everyone, you guys already know, if you play this game a lot, they rock with the full auto repeater nine times out of ten. This class is good without it. It's actually really good without it. And I, I probably will never use the fully auto tech nine ever again because I've actually had trouble using the fully auto tech nine because it's unsilenced and I end up dying a lot when I do use the automatic version. So I can definitely see myself using this class a lot. I think it's pretty darn good. The only attachment that doesn't make a lot of sense to me is the Tiger Team Spotlight, but for the blueprint that it is, it's a good class. So I'm going to be giving the class an eight out of 10. And then last but not least, what is the longevity of this blueprint? Well, as I mentioned previous or in the gameplay itself, I can definitely see myself using this blueprint and this class in general because it's pretty darn good. Here's what the attachments look like. Here's what gold diamond and dark matter ultra look like with it and then zombies of course we have golden viper plague diamond and dark ether so again it takes a lot out of the blueprint if you do put a camo on it but if you don't really care too much about how the aesthetic looks and you just kind of prefer uh, just having a tracer around and a dismemberment effect then this is definitely worth changing the uh, aesthetic for i mean if i ever unlock diamond or gold for this or diamond for this smg i'll probably use diamond on it more than anything else but it's still a good class and i think the longevity is pretty high so i'm going to be giving that an 8 out of 10 as well because i can definitely see myself using it after this video is over and for a lot of the time that i play black ops cold war uh, so anyway guys that's going to do it for this pretty quick review there's not again when it comes to these reviews there's not always a lot to talk about uh, i tend to plus we're also going to take a look at the bundle itself and talk about whether or not it is worth it but it was the final score for this blueprint is going to be getting a 7.6 out of 10 which is 0.6 higher than the last blueprint they're both pretty evenly balanced i think you know the class on the other blueprint is a little bit worse than this one but it's this class is still pretty darn good and overall i think a seven is a pretty good score so without all being said let's go ahead and talk about this bundle and whether or not i think that it is worth it and in all honesty it depends on the player me personally if i wasn't making videos on youtube with bundles i probably wouldn't buy this one only because not because i'm scared of it or anything just because it's a really a halloween only bundle 
and you'll probably only see me using this bundle through the end of Black Ops Cold War's life cycle because, of course, Vanguard comes out on November 5th. So I probably won't be using this bundle too much after or too much after Halloween because it's not spooky season anymore. But if you do like the Scream movies, if you do like, um, you know, if you do like these rare bundles, because this is a rare bundle and probably, I mean, a lot of people will have it, but it's still a rare bundle and it's a very cool bundle. But again, if you don't like scary movies, you're not going to really want to get this bundle because again, it's also not going to be very useful after you know after a week after 10 days because halloween's going to be over in 10 days and then the event the haunting event goes two days after that so i can't really see many people using this bundle that much but nonetheless though that being said it is still a very very cool bundle the scream skin is obviously awesome looks very very cool and you can rock it in black ops cold war during halloween for the rest of its life cycle if you so wish and if you ever go back to black ops cold war which i can definitely see myself doing the plot twist blueprint is a good way to have a high leveled grab the slasher blueprint is a good way to have a high level tech nine that's not automatic and then just the rest of the stuff is all cool i really like the calling card and the emblem and then the finishing move is also really cool as well which you guys can see right there so once again you know i'm not going to say that it's worth it or not worth it i'm just saying that it's not a very long lasting bundle because halloween is 10 days away and then after halloween is over vanguard comes out and then people won't really be using this bundle anymore so keep that with what you will but it all comes down to personal preference as well me personally if i wasn't doing a youtube video i probably wouldn't buy this bundle it's cool but i didn't buy any of the halloween bundles last year because i didn't have the money or was making videos on them so again take that with what you will but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you guys did a like videos are appreciated if you want to check out any of my other previous blueprint review videos they will all be linked down below in the playlist in the description as well as my previous episodes will be at the end of the video as well and again thank you guys so much for all of your support on the last episode the support was just it, it, pardon me insane and i'm excited to see how well that video does but again thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys all under the black ops cold war video very very soon